Here it's, it's quite a bit drier than it was this morning. It is quite a bit drier, Mark. I was just looking at some of the rain totals since midnight. You know, DFW being one of those areas that picked up just over an inch of rain. And it's only June 5th, right? Look at how much rain we've picked up this month alone. A lot. A lot, yeah. In fact, over three and a half inches of rain. We're already in a surplus for the month, but up today, uh, we are at 2.9 above normal. Again, that's just for the month. For the whole year, we've picked up over 28 and a half inches of rainfall above normal by 11 and, you know, just over a quarter, 11 and a quarter inches of rain. So we are quite in a surplus. Our soil is really saturated and that's what's kind of adding to that humidity uh, that we have been feeling the last several days. You know, sixth wettest year to date. In fact, uh, meteorologist Kyle Roberts loves to dig into some of this data and he found this fun fact yesterday. 39 years on record didn't see this much rain the entire year. Again, these records go back to the late 1800s. Now we're looking at drying conditions. Happy to say that we're seeing some clearing in Denton areas of Parker Wise County. A lot of this rain has already pushed off towards the southeast. No active watches, no active warnings in place, uh, with the exception of some flood uh, warnings for some streams, mainly along eastern North Texas. So the rest of the day, we're looking at clearing this out between now and noon. We'll see that cloud cover slowly uh, clear out. DFW Airport right now, 74 degrees. You can see some cloud cover overhead. Temperature of about 74 degrees. Uh, the wind is light right now, but at times it's going to be breezy. It is out of the northeast. We have a front that's working its way into North Texas, and that front is going to help bring in slightly drier air. So right now it is a little humid out, but as the afternoon progresses, you'll feel it slightly lower especially around 3, 4 this afternoon. High temperature of 90. The heat index not nearly as high as what we experienced yesterday. Yesterday, the heat index got up to 106. Today, it'll only feel like 91, you know, what it should be for this time of the year. Uh, temperature drops to about 82 degrees around 8. Okay, so here's what you need to know. It's going to be dry today and tomorrow. The heat index will be in the triple digits, but we do have more storms on the way for this weekend. It's not going to be for everyone, and the rain coverage is going to be quite a bit lower than what we experienced uh, this morning. In fact, today dry, tomorrow dry, 20% coverage Friday and Saturday afternoons. Again, doesn't look all that impressive. I think a lot of this activity is going to be across our northern counties closer to the Red River, but Sunday Sunday night into Monday rain coverage goes up slightly. We do have a front that's coming in and that front is going to help develop some rain. That's when I think we'll pick up the most rainfall between now and Tuesday. Uh, and again, it's not going to be for everyone exactly uh, close to about a quarter to, to half of an inch of rain expected across the Metroplex between now and next Tuesday, slightly higher amounts along the Red River and slightly higher amounts uh, to the southeast between Navarro County and uh, along I-45 there towards the southeast. And that is just because of the rain that's falling there right now. If you're going to be spending some time outside today, hickory grass at a moderate. Uh, we are looking at uh, these uh, go maybe slightly lower for this afternoon, and it's just because of the rain. We're going to see those numbers jump right back uh, as our drying conditions uh, continue today and tomorrow. OK, so the high temperature today in Dallas, 90, 92 in Fort Worth, 90 in Denton, about 88 in McKinney. It will be in the mid 90s for our western counties just because it is clearing out there quite a bit faster and into the upper 80s for our eastern counties because the cloud cover, it'll take a little bit longer for it to clear out there. So like I mentioned, the heat index, not a big factor today, but tomorrow uh, the high will be 95. It'll feel like 100 because that humidity slowly creeps back in. And that happens over the days of a Friday, Saturday, even on Sunday with highs in the mid 90s, but it'll feel like the triple digits. We will eventually see the temperatures drop a tad because of a front coming in. Like I mentioned, that's responsible for bringing us some rain on Sunday night into Monday. Highs to kick off next week in the mid 80s, Mark. Oh, that sounds so much better than the 90s we're looking at right now. Thank you, Marielle.